Not only are Maple Leafs fans passionate about their team, but so is the general manager, Kyle Dubas. Hey everyone, Rob Wong, joined alongside by Toronto Sun sports columnist Steve Simmons. And Steve, Maple Leafs GM Kyle Dubas has been going viral for videos that surfaced from Amelie Arena in Tampa Bay during Game 3, getting into it with some fans during that highly contested contest. Is this a good look for the GM, a bad look, or otherwise? What you're seeing now is the great overreaction that social media can take a situation and blow it up beyond all recognition. And, and that's what happened here. I don't know the circumstances exactly of what caused Kyle Dubas to go off on a fan or how it is. But I do know that these kind of things have been happening forever. We just haven't seen them filmed uh, over the years. So now something like this happens and all of a sudden everyone is, is shocked. Look what happened with Kyle. I've seen it right beside me in press boxes with Ron Caron when he ran the St. Louis Blues, when John Ferguson ran the Winnipeg Jets, when, you know, different guys going off at different times about a call on the ice or something that somebody said or whatever. They're human beings. Their jobs are on the line. This is playoffs. This is everything they've worked for. And so, you know, to, to, to look at Kyle and say, oh my, oh my, look what he's doing here. And I'm thinking, I remember John Ferguson taking ice cubes from the press box and throwing him at his bench, he was so disgusted with his team during a playoff series in Winnipeg. And and the, and the video of Karan is classic if you ever want to look back. He would have gone viral every day of the NHL season if there had been social media back in the day. And there's so many guys who have been like that over the years. We just are now getting peeks into things that maybe we haven't gotten peeks into before. And so now we're all sort of, condemning whatever it is we don't like, not knowing that it's been going on forever by just about every general manager who's ever been around. Yeah, I can remember once or twice sitting in front of uh, Brian Burks uh, during some pretty uh, bad Maple Leafs game during oh. his tenure as GM of the, the Leafs. Oh. I've got a, Brian, a great Brian Burks story. Um, Anaheim is playing Detroit in the, in the semifinals the year they won the Stanley Cup. And the press box in Detroit was overflowing with media. So they put, I got the seat right at the end of the press box that night. And I'm beside Burke and all of the Anaheim front office people. And the first thing he says to me is, everything we do between now and the end of the game is off the record. So, you know, if I, and they had a player named Dustin Penner. And the entire game, I think they told him to, F whatever, all game long. You're a lazy this, and you're a whatever that, and 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 they were screaming and yelling the whole game. And of course, if if I had been filming and it, it had been the days of today and, and social media, then all of that stuff would have been online, and everyone would have gone crazy, just as they're going crazy now. But I can assure you, if someone's been around the NHL for forty years, this stuff happens all the time. It has happened all the time. It will continue to happen. Well, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Should Kyle Dubas engage with the fans or just lay low? For Steve Simmons, I'm Rob Wong. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next time.